What's up nerds on the Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Monster Sanctuary. I ran up here on my own off screen because I mean, I don't think you need to see me running up here every single time, right? Okay, this opens that thing up there. This closes, I'm... Okay, okay. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. Maybe this opens this here, but what opens that thing? What what opens this one? Is that what I need to know? Okay. <laughs> how do they all interact with each other? And how, wait, okay. Now it's open. Yes. Okay, that opened that thing up there, which means we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. Can now run over here. That opens. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like I'm making progress. I, I don't know how to get to that uh, box down there or the chest. But that's not important right now. Uh, okay, interesting. Sapphire. As always, I don't know which is the way to go. I'm gonna go back and go to the right. Because I'm as always assuming that this is just that over there is just a bonus room. No. <laughs> okay. We're gonna keep going further down first. Because as we go up the whole time, I'm guessing that the boss will or uh, boss monster or whatever will be up there and the highest of heights, possibly. Okay. Is that what the key is for? Odd looking blob monument. There seems to be a hole, but none of your keys fit. Okay. We, we found another one of those one ones, right? Pretty sure we did. Eyes are burning a little bit. Whatever. Um, but we don't know what we need or uh, what we need to do or get for that. Like some sort of slime key, but we have no idea what it is yet, I think, right? Unless there's something I'm missing or forgetting. Okay, okay, okay. We can get up here, but first we need to open this. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna try my best and think. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and this can help us with this. Okay, that was that was easy enough. I like it. Super mimic? Oh, it's just yeah, more mimics. Interesting. That is interesting. Okay, let's go with Larry. Let's go with Billion, and let's go with Murderer. Because why not? Fire shield. One is already burning and that should burn the two of them, right? Yes. Love it. Love it so much. Um, bubble burst for increased chances of poisoning. Yes. That didn't hit a lot. That really didn't hit a lot. Um, fire claws. You know what? Let's go with support. Let's just buff a little bit. Increase our damage, increase our chances in general. Just do stuff. Mimic would be amazing and a pain in the ass to fight against if all those elemental attacks had the chance of also doing uh, of also doing debuffs or uh, dots or whatever. Since it doesn't, we're fine, but it. Like I said, it, it would be more amazing. Whatever. Okay, you are not poisoned. Weakness, poison, double poison? No, but weakness and poison, that, that's good. Let's go with some fire claws to let it bleed. I switched from the first mimic to the second one because the second one suddenly had less health, so why not? You know, one thing that would be amazing, especially unlike Fillion or whatever, would be something like Thorns, where if the enemy attacks us, they take damage back. Just a little bit, because 
could, could be a whole lot. Because with like seven, eight, uh, sometimes nine hits all in all, that would just be way too much. But a little bit, a little bit of bonus damage. Ooh, ooh, that's nice, that's nice. Do we think that the middle guy dies due to poison, burn and bleeding? I think so, yes. Yep, the burn, the burn did most. Okay. First guy almost dead, second guy, I think we can leave the first guy being the way it is, because again, burn, double poison, double, what's the word, uh, exactly, bleeding. <laughs> and just focus on the last guy, yeah, that should kill both of them, especially the last guy is triple poison, so even if it does less, it still is triple poison, so... Skill resetter, not bad. Ah, that, okay, okay. I was afraid that that was all there was to it. Mystical Workshop key, a second one. Huh. We haven't even found one of the doors yet. <laughs> I don't mind though, I really do not mind. So there, there's probably a door that connects the mystical workshop to something else. <gasps> is that a dark shifted Stolby? It absolutely is. I want to fight them. They are weak to physical attacks. Um, so, Fillion, Mimi, and Murderer. Also, they are strong against. They are strong against. Afflictions, poison, uh, and burn, but doesn't mean that they don't take any damage from it, so... Mm, the strongest attack here is tackle. We're gonna start with the light shifted. You don't want to keep light shifted monsters around. That's... or dark shifted, I mean, and you don't want to keep shifted monsters around. Because they are, by definition, stronger than the normal ones. I thought we had Larry with us. We don't. And shit, Murderer is about to die. Also, I'm missing the time when Fillion had Poison Cloud. That was such a great attack. Not really strong, but a great attack. Murderer, really no, not looking great. I'm gonna go with Healing Wave, I think, because it the regular heal only heals slightly more than the Healing Wave. So I think this is actually better. And now, I mean, this would kill. This would. You know what? Let's let's try. Let's live on the edge. Okay. I thought. Whew, for a second, I thought it wouldn't die. And Fillion went down. That sucks. I'll have to. Yeah, I'll absolutely have to get Fillion back. Fillion is the most useful in this fight. <laughs> Let's go with the healing wave again. This will not let Fillion live, but if we can... If we can just do a lot right here. Just a lot of damage. Nope, we missed. Mm, that's not a whole lot of damage. Fillion will... Oh! Oh? Okay. That is actually pretty good. Because every earth attack would have done way more damage. Fillion, as always, just healing wave. Doesn't really do too much again. But it is damage. Um, we're gonna go for this guy, who's already double poisoned. And just gonna claw our way through. Five bleeding stacks because they are resistant to to afflictions like uh, or debuffs or dots like poison or fire, but bleeding stacks are uh, are a different different thing. So they don't have any defense against that. They take regular damage from bleeding, which is great. Okay, now with this damage and the bleeding and the weak. Poison, but still poison. I think the Stolby in the back dies. 
Ja, yeah, okay, okay. Ja, yeah, that poison bomb is strong as hell. Um, we're gonna go for a bubble burst. Yes, again, it is not strong in any way, but we didn't even poison. That sucks. Let's go for tackle. <laughs> you know, for the last three episodes or whatever, I think I talked about the boss that we're on the lookout for, because the alchemist told us about the boss. Oh... Uh, we might find it someday. <laughs> uh, transfusion, not bad. What was this? Healing shield. Healing skills. Apply shield. Increase defense. Or increase attack and magic. Um, yeah, I wanted health proc. I want more procs because the more... Again, the more hits we do, the more damage the rest of our guys do. Oh, oh, good job, Keeper. We must be almost at the top of the workshop now. But as I expected, there are some security measures in place. It's a sign that Marduk doesn't want us to come here. The keys to those doors should be hidden somewhere around the workshop. I saw some promising looking treasure chests on the way here, but alas, I was afraid there might be mimics. We got one, we got two, but we don't have a third one. Okay, okay. And it seems like to the right. Oh, there is a uh, a bottom switch or a button. So I think that opens up the way to the right then, so that we can circle back around. At least that's what it looks like. I'm gonna pause for a second. Sorry, I'm back. A friend called me. I he. Rarely calls me, so I thought it might be something important, but no. <laughs> or, not that it's not important, but more it wasn't anything... Uh, I don't know what word I was want I wanted to use there. Ah, whatever. Okay, so... Up there will probably be a barrier that we can... That we can uh, open from the other side with that button. There is a clock here. That's interesting. And that's the workshop key, right? Yep. Okay. 12 minutes into the episode. That's not a whole lot. Meaning we have the time to actually... I want to fight. Let me, let me retreat. I should buy some more smoke bombs just in case. Because lately I'm using them quite a lot. I was, right now, I was looking for the word lately in my head. First, it, I wanted to say regularly, but that wouldn't have made any sense right now. But whatever. Okay, um, I'm saying um again, doesn't really matter, right? Does it? No, it really doesn't. I want to try my best to lower the, the times or lower the times? Lower the amount of times. Yeah, that's kind of better. The amount of times I'm saying stuff like, um, like, stuff like that, you know. Oh, that isn't a button, that is a letter. Okay. Well done, Keeper. I'm happy to know that I can count on the support of the Monster Sanctuary. You didn't find a champion monster around here, have you yet? There's gotta be some uh, one somewhere around here. I know Marduk won't leave this place unguarded, so let's press on, but also be on your guard. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting it any second now. Like here, it's a goblin, a goblin, goblin pilot, weak to water and wind, strong to fire and earth. Ah, so basically, okay. Blob Dylan, Villian, murderer. I mean, murderer is weak to exactly what that thing uses. No, wait. He isn't. I, I I keep reading everything wrong. <laughs> okay, we're gonna armor break. Just how, where did we get all those buffs now? I I completely I completely forgot, or I I completely miss. No, still the wrong word. I completely. <laughs> I I don't have the overview of who gives us what buffs anymore. It's just I'm I. Everything. 
Stuff happens, that's it. Is it murderer? I'm not sure. Whatever. Fire shield, that sucks. We don't... Mm, burns all of us. We don't have anyone... Holy shit, that is bad. We don't have anyone that's actually... Ah, let's do it. We don't have anyone that actually burns the enemy. Which, I mean, he is strong or the enemy is strong against... Against burning? Against fire? But that won't mean that it doesn't take damage from it. It just takes less damage. Okay, and now we start just attacking. I think the sentence that I wanted to say before was I lost track of who does what in terms of passives. Holy shit, that is a lot of damage. Murderers almost dead. That's not good, but I got Blob Dylan. And I still have Fillion who can also heal if I needed him to. I might need him to. <laughs> nah. Bubble Burst because it does increase damage. I mean, not a whole lot, but it is damage. And I think in general, just pure damage because with, with what we're doing, like um, reduction of defense, armor break, that's what I wanted to say, triple poison, it's just better to go full on out, all out attack. Um, can we... I forget, can we double armor break? I oh, we are already at three armor break. Well, whatever. <laughs> Bubble burst the shield away so that Murderer has free range or almost free range with his claws. Okay, we're almost half or over halfway done, so. That works, that looked cool. Long slash, yeah, just, that's okay. Let's go with Arcane Bolt. It is neutral, doesn't really do too much damage, but it increases the combo more than the rest. That's 10 combo points. That's at least another seven, but I think more than that. Yeah, that's eight. So 190% damage. That's, that's what Murderer likes to see. Yeah, that, that's a good fight. That's a good fight. Fillion dies. I will get Fillion back. I will revive Fillion, of course. Especially in, in a boss fight. I really want everyone to be alive. At least afterwards. Um, but I won't heal him any more than that. I just want him to be alive because that should do the trick. Claws and then, yeah. Everything else with bleeding stacks and triple poison, this guy would have died anyway. Ruby Zephyr Emerald, nice. Blob Dylan levels up. Rank increased. You ascended to Keeper Champion rank. New items available at Traders. That's cool. I like it. Blob Dylan gets better healing, I would say. When applying a buff, also heal the target by 50% of this monster's magic. That's not bad. But I think think we're gonna... I mean, we can go with more magic. Combo initiator is not bad, since Blob Dylan is mostly the first one to attack. This one is each slime. Your party applies armor break on a random enemy after each action, which means Blob Dylan as well. But I think I'm gonna go with, with magic proc. More hits. More hits for guys like Murderer. Okay, this looks pretty official. Officially bad, so we're gonna go to the left first. It was also guarded by a boss monster, so I think... To the right is... Ooh, another clock. Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. I actually know what to do. I know where to get the answer. Was it over here? Yes. So, nine, exactly nine. At least I think, right? Because that's the only clock so far or the only thing so far that gave us any, anything. 
Easy. Is that a secret? Yes. Kind of secrety. And there's something we need to pull up there. Hmm. Huh. Well, let's go to the right then, because there is nothing I can do right now that I know of. There's a whole bunch of moodies. Infernal beast from the bowel of the earth. It is as I had feared. Huh? What is the meaning of this alchemist? We were all deceived, you see. They called Marduk a devil. How close they were to the truth. Let me explain how I came to doubt our leader Marduk. Huh, interesting. When I learned that he has been alive for hundreds of years, I was astonished, as you'd expected. I believed that he had found a legendary Philosopher's Stone, able to postpone the human aging process. But that may only exist in the realm of myths. Eventually, I realized the only way for a human to reach immortality was not through an alchem alchemical breakthrough, but through the occult. Of course, I would never meddle with the occult myself, but in my research I found evidence that Marduk might have done so. The fact that Marduk isn't ever letting us know more than we need to know for his purposes has tipped me off too. True academics should share their knowledge with, knowledge with each other, but now I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> What I mean to say is, despite my colleagues revering Marduk as the savior of alchemy, it became clear to me that he was only using us. In this room, this statue proves my findings. There is some connection between Marduk and the occult. To be more exact, a connection between Marduk and Mad-Eyes. Perhaps he's not even human himself after all, or he's just a pawn in a much bigger scheme, who knows? Is there anything else you can tell us? Not much, I'm afraid. I heard from other alchemists that Marduk is hiding in the abandoned tower. But I can't even confirm or refute that fact, to be honest. It's just hearsay. I never even met him personally. He seems to only fully trust two of the alchemists, Zosimos and Chimes. That's all I can tell you. I will keep wandering the century to find out more. If I find anything else, I'll let you know. I'll shoot you an email. You know what it is. Check in with your familiar once in a while. They'll keep you in the know, I'm sure. Really? The frog? How? Oh, whatever. Interesting, so these things are occult. Okay, great, great, great. This opens up. This might also open up the place where we just were? I don't know. Um, let's ride on a monster, because that's faster than regular running. Whee! Just checking it out, just checking if anything... Nope. Still the same. <laughs> Whatever. Wait, is that may... I mean, that... Okay. That might be a bit far-fetched, but could this... Where are we? No. Okay. I thought it would maybe be, like, down here. You know, there were... Over here somewhere... Over here was these stones that we brought up and down to go through or not. And I wasn't sure, I, I, I thought that maybe there was a connection between those two, but I highly doubt, I highly doubt that. This opens, this opens, nothing. This opens, this opens. This opens, we only need one more, in theory. I think? Wrong? Oh, wow, we somehow did it. <laughs> bracelet 5, defense magic regeneration. Does anyone have bracelet? I think, yeah, bracelet 4. Instead of, in instead of, instead, instead of uh, smithing, we just use the better one, that's it. Okay, where did we want to go? Where where did we want, oh, damn it. Like, seriously, where did we want to go now? Oh yeah, down there, <laughs> we're the only place we haven't been in this. I'm... Not right now, thank you. We just opened a path, so we'll probably have to go where we opened the path, right? Uh, wrong. Just for now. I, I, Right now I want to keep going and not worry about fighting. That's a very, very useful ability. Uh, oh, shit, that end. I, I thought... I didn't look at everything on the minimap. I thought it was connected. 
wasn't. Sucks. Whatever. Just a quick run around, nothing more. That jump now reminded me of Super Mario Maker. I'm, I've never played it myself, but uh, me and my girlfriend like to watch uh, Rio Car, who is an amazing YouTuber, mostly into Mario Maker or became bigger due to Mario Maker. And now he is playing all types of different stuff, fun stuff, but a lot of Mario Maker as well. And that jump just was something that he would have had to do for many, many, many levels. Okay, and we can go through here. We are at 25 minutes, so let's keep going. Hey, Renegade! Phew, I'm glad I made it in time. I heard about the key of power and all that, you know? How all four spectral creepers need to be there to open the door to the abandoned tower? Well, to be honest, I don't know if I still qualify as a spectral keeper after what happened, but still, I want to help. And I want to let you know that I've become much stronger too. Let me prove it to you in a duel, okay? So, duel. First things first. First round we can only attack twice. That's something that I need to keep in mind. We're gonna start with Mimi, Larry and Mantis. Okay, we're gonna air sickle this thing because it could be could be that it is not that good to keep around. I can't, I, I don't really know with those guys. Like the, the, the bird, I'm pretty sure I mostly know what it does. But yeah, the wisp seems like a... Wow. No one burns now. The, the wisp is more of a support. Okay, but at least none of them is really strong. Which is a good thing for us. Okay, now we can attack with all three, so that should be good. We're gonna use Fire Shield again, which this time only burns one of them, because we're down to Fire Shield 1. There's a... We're gonna use Severe Cuts right away, just for the bonus damage. Not a whole lot of bonus damage. Full, full offense? Are you kidding me? Like... Ah. I was thinking about some defense stuff, but no. Well, anyway, like I said, none of them are strong. So right now with our shields and all, we are pretty good. Wow. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. We have to get rid of the bird. Let's just tackle this guy. Uh, arcane bolt. Although, maybe burning the bird would have been a better idea. Your cuts doesn't do too much. Leaf Slash... Let's Leaf Slash this guy, just to get rid of the shields, or as much of the shields as possible. Okay, one down. Fire Moth, we need water attacks. So, these guys are weak to... The Moth weak to water. The... Bird weak to earth and the elemental in the background weak to fire. So if I get oh shit. If I get Blob Dylan out, we should mostly be good. I'm gonna heal first just to keep Mantis alive for now. We're gonna fire shield everybody and burn at least two of the enemies. Nice. Didn't burn the the one that I hope to, but whatever. Ooh, that's that's a lot of damage now. That's a lot of damage. With a whole bunch of charge stacks. That was decent. Firestorm shouldn't do too much. Earthquake, same. Wow, they... He's fighting <laughs> pretty similar to myself. Just a bunch of debuffs. That what? Was that now? Okay, how about we slime shot? Just for the poison, mostly. A little bit of damage, but mostly just for the poison. Uh, we're gonna fire shield again. As much shielding right now as we can. Burn all three of them, which gives us more shielding in the long run. That doesn't kill, but if we can crit a few times... With the burn and the poison, yes. 
It goes down, but it has some kind of phoenix ability and comes back to life. Whatever. 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 I can deal with that. I can deal with it. I don't know why, but I'm getting hyper right now. I'm getting hyper. <laughs> Ice Storm, that sucks, but as long as Blob Dylan survive, ah, that was a bunch of damage on Larry. It was a bunch of damage on everyone. Um, Blob Dylan. I, I, I keep thinking that Blob Dylan heals more on other uh, on other monsters than on itself, but that's not it. It's just that it's just that Blob Dylan has so much HP. Like, Larry has very little amount of HP, so every single small heal heals for a whole lot on its health bar. Blob Dylan has so ma much HP, so many HP, that every big heal heals only, or looks like, just a little bit. Okay, do we go for Long Slash in hope? No, 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 no. We're, we're going to go for the, for the definitive kill. We, we're not playing around. We're not playing around. We go for the definitive kill. Minotaur. That thing was bad news in another fight. Wasn't it? But we're good. We're good. We're good right now. We're good right now. Earthquake that deals a little bit of damage. Okay. Mantis goes down. Yeah. That's alright. We got... We got... Billion. We're gonna heal Blob Dylan and maybe even more with with Fillion. Maybe. I'm not sure. But first, once again, just shield them up and burn two of three. That's great. Uh, who would we get rid of? Or who, who, who should we get rid of first? I think, although... The shield amount is now incredibly high. I think the moth needs to go. We took out almost all of the shielding, so that's something, I think. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> triple he uh, triple burn on Fillion. That sucks. They don't have anyone with restore. That sucks as well. Okay, acid rain. shield in general or do we go for you know what we're gonna go for barrier yes Larry already has triple barrier which is amazing but I think right now that's the best thing we can do I think yeah okay uh, the guy in the bag is almost dead I I did not realize that <laughs> the triple uh, triple poison and burning will do that to an enemy eh? the attack animation looks so cool that thing's stomping around love it Okay, okay, we're, we're, we're fine, we're fine. I'm gonna go with a healing wave, just to top everyone mostly off. Fire shield, because it, it shields more, even if the added effect of burning someone is useless, because everyone's already burning. But fire shield in general does more. Guy in the back, please? Okay, dead, great. Now there's only this Beetleborg thing, I don't know what it was called. Which is weak to Earth, so poisoning, poisoning it is great. We're doing good, we're doing good. And we still have, have murder in the back, so... We, we're fine. We are doing fine. Um, do I just go for the slime shot? No, I'm gonna go for the acid rain on the moth, because we want to go, get rid of the moth. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna ignite this guy in the back. And the tethers as well. I forgot about that. And now we're gonna bubble burst the moth. We're gonna poison the beetle next turn. We should have done it. We should have done it with Blob Dylan. That would have been the best idea. Wait, it's already triple poisoned. I don't know. I didn't I have no idea how that worked. I don't care. It worked. That's all I needed. <laughs> Was it that every time I get a I, I really don't remember. Like I said, I cannot keep track of all the of all the passives. <laughs> all right, we're already in the territory of the infinity buff. Increases damage dealt by 
the longer the fight goes on, like when, when the fight goes on for too long, everyone stacks infinity buffs, which increase the damage dealt by like 25% each stack at every turn. There is more, 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 more. Just so that everyone, just so that the fight doesn't last forever. Which is a great idea in my opinion. Okay, can we destroy the moth now? With water and with burn and triple poison, that should do it, right? One, two, three, done. Okay, great. Two more enemies to go. It does more damage, but also tether reduces its damage, so woo! We're about to destroy this guy. We're about to destroy this guy. Okay, um, we got nothing. No acid rain on this guy. Just to reduce its armor. Yeah, we hadn't broken its armor. That's good to know. Fireball Storm. Tidal Wave won't really do much. Tackle is not bad. Bubble Burst would kill the guy in the front, but I think... Oh, wait, why, why did I... That was stupid, whatever. Guy in the front should die to poison, 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 burn. Nice. Yeah, and now it's three on one and I still have murder on the back, so, I mean... <laughs> There, there is a saying in German, or in basically in, in, in Austrian German, not in regular German. Uh, you say it's a it's a Sigma uh, which roughly translates or which basically translates to it's a mowed lawn, as in yep, yeah, it's done, <laughs> it's done, it's a mowed lawn, we're done. <laughs> it's it sounds it ki kind of sounds really stupid, but I mean. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Bam, 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 and fire. Dead. We win. We're gonna save. Huh, that was a good fight, wasn't it? Remember when we first met in the Blue Caves? We were both just Keeper asp Aspirants, while Julia and Leonard were Keeper Lancers. Now I'm a Keeper Ranger, and I thought I've grown so much, but I think you've grown way more than I have. Yeah, I'm a champion or whatever. Don't discourage yourself. Your Spectral Wolf would be proud to see you right now, Will. Thank you, but Renegade shows me how much better I can still become. That is true, but because of your drive, I pronounce you worthy of the title of a Spectral Keeper. You should come with us. Thank you, it means a lot to me. I'll go ahead to the door of the abandoned tower then. It should be right ahead. Interesting. That means to me that next time we're gonna explore a bit of the sanctuary first. Ah, you know what, I'm uh, not gonna go through with this right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye-bye!